Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. Uh, <clears throat> if you're a new time watcher, uh, please consider subscribing. Click the subscribe button below. That way you'll get all of my new content uh, coming out here. So today I am uh, very excited to bring you this 1803 candle haul. Uh, this is my first time really um, doing uh, burning any kind of 1803 candles. I have no prior experience to this. But the good thing is I've seen them become more and more um, popular in uh, some of the Facebook groups that I'm in, some of the candle Facebook groups, and also on social media um, there. So I feel like give them uh, give them a shot there. So um, I have what do I have? Here? I have six cents, right? Six cents um, in different form factors, and then uh, I'm just gonna give you a little overview of the candles and melts that I have here, and then um, coming up throughout August into September, um, I'll be doing. Uh, post burn reviews of them so uh and post melt reviews so it's kind of like a little christmas in july like you know because they do have uh two new scents for christmas and um i have one of the new scents um for fall here so uh let's get into the older scents first um so let's go with uh oh i should mention these are all soy wax so um they're not paraffin based they're not a blended wax they're 100 percent soy wax they are uh, blended here in the U.S. Um, by hand, so um, it's a good little tidbit there. So this is Log Cabin Home. This is our wax melt. Good size. You get six little chunks there of this. You get the spices on top, if you can see that there. So this smells exactly like what you would think a log cabin in the woods would smell like. Just that, that wood, that oak when you walk into, there's no like smokiness or like a fire or anything. It's just like straight up like a little sweetness to it, um, but it's mostly just wood, firewood, just raw, dried up firewood. Um, no burning incense or embers or anything like that. So that is log cabin home. Uh, it also comes in a candle. So the other melt I have here is amazing. Uh, it is pumpkin hollow. Really, really enjoying this. Um, as you can see, there also are some spices on top of the wax melt there. So this is like your uh, gourmand pumpkin bakery scent. It's got the vanilla, the caramel, the caramel, um, the, the, not the, you know, um, the cardamom. That's what, what I'm looking for in there. It's just very sweet. It's very, very nice. Um, I think this would do well. In a candle form, but I'm excited to try it um, in the wax form there as well. So, uh, okay, let's, let's stick with fall here. So, this is their new fall scent. It is amazing. Um, it is called Three Crows Pumpkin Delivery there. It's a 14-ounce jar. Uh, color, not all the labels have these pictures on them, but they're special editions. Well, I call them special editions, but, like, they're... They're festive, they're holiday, um, Halloween. They do have some Halloween ones this year. They have a witch's brew and a candy corn. Uh, and then they have this uh, Three Crows pumpkin delivery. So we have the crows driving the red truck with the pumpkin and the scarecrow in the back there. As you can see, single wick. Uh, it's that whipped soy, so it's not like a, not like a soft soy. It's a, it's a whipped soy. And this is a lot sweeter than the Pumpkin Hollow. It's along the same wavelength. It is a very sweet treat, maple, um, cinnamon sugar, uh, bakery note in there. This is very, very nice. Um, I cannot wait to burn this guy. This just puts you right in the fall mood. Uh, pumpkin spice. So think pumpkin spice, right? You go to Starbucks, um, Dunkin' Donuts, you get your pumpkin spice latte. Mm. Or Wawa, if you guys know what a Wawa is, they have their pumpkin spice latte. Mm. Very, very nice. Has a little 1803 tag on the side there. So now we'll get into holiday Christmas. It's called Christmas. So this is um, an older one from at least last year. I'm not sure if it was before there, but um, the Christmas ones have this little green garland around, which is a nice little touch there. This is Home by the Fire in Oh My. This is really, really good. This is like that incense ember uh, fruitiness of a burning fire. Um, there might be like a like citrus, citrus, bergamot, maybe a little bit of fir 
fur in here. Um, if you guys like uh, Yankee Candle Cozy by the Fire, you're going to like this one. Mm. And what's cool, I don't know how this affects the burner. I think I'll have to try this out there. But uh, their Christmas ones have this glitter on the top. So I'm not sure how that affects the burn or if glitter is going to get all over my damn house. But we'll, we'll find out there. Very, very nice. Very impressed. So the next two I have are brand new. And this one is Home for Christmas. So again, we have that uh, same truck that we had for um, Three Crows Pumpkin Delivery. Uh, we still have the crow driving the truck there. So it's the same artwork. And then they just modified it to have the Christmas tree with Frosty in the back there. It says Home for Christmas on it. And again, we have glitter. <laughs> Lots and lots of glitter. Uh, so this is um, frozen. Um, so you guys know that that frozen minty smell. This is that. It's not men. It's not uh, medicinal at all. It's a frozen winter uh, outdoorsy scent. So I can see where they're going with this with the pump with the not the pumpkin with the Christmas tree. So if you guys have ever cut a um, cut your own tree or even if you buy one from like the local lot and it's already cut um and then they, what they do is they do a fresh cut on there and so when you get that home right so you go from the cold outdoors and you come into the warmer indoors there and you go to put that tree in your stand and you're under the tree right you're under the tree and you're tightening the bolts there to put it in there that like coolness aroma um that the that little mist that little fog little smoke comes off of the tree there because of the changing uh, the drastic temperature changes there and you get that cold frozen out because the tree was frozen uh, it was cold at least that's exactly what you get with this candle a little bit of pepperminty too yeah very pepperminty very 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 nice and of course they all have these black uh, matte black lids there I think these retail for about $19 I think is what they are then we have the other new one here is Spirit of Christmas. So we have what looks like a Mr. and Mrs. Frosty the Snowman with uh, Mr. Snowman has a Christmas tree and Mrs. Snowman looks like she has the ornaments to decorate the Christmas tree. And the saying here is, let us keep the spirit of Christmas in our hearts all the days of the year. A very nice saying there, Spirit of Christmas. Once again, glitter. So this is more like a balsam, a balsam, a fruity scent, a tree scent, uh, cedar. <clears throat> yeah, very, very nice. I'm curious to see how this transforms on burning. Very pleasant. Not overly pungent, not overly strong, but it's very, very, very pleasant. Yeah, balsam and cedar, you know, some balsam and cedar scents are just like, I don't know, they're, they're, they're astringent, they're strong, you know, but this is not, this is a sweeter, this is a sweeter, uh, sweeter candle there. So that is Spirit of Christmas by 1803, and that is what I have for you from 1803 right now. So, um, guys, let me know what you think of 1803. Have you tried them yet? Like I said, I will be burning them soon, and then I will be getting post-burn reviews and post-melt reviews going up, uh, fairly soon. There was just kind of like my little... Christmas in July uh, preview. So um, thanks for hanging in there with me. I will see you all real soon. Remember, comment, like, subscribe below, and uh, stay tuned for more awesome content. So thanks again.